Hello and welcome to my review of the Wolverine's Chopper Showdown. It is set number 6866 and it is 201 pieces. Let's take a look at the box. And the amazing minifigures you get are here. And this is Marvel X-Men. Shows you some of the features of the helicopter and some really cool art. You get Comic Book Adventure number one. Let's quickly, quickly flip through this right here. Really uh, cool scene there of Wolverine fighting Deadpool. Very, very cool art. I'm excited for this set here. Ultimate Spider-Man. And here's the Marvel X-Men strip. Hmm. So yeah, that's the comic, and here are the minifigures. We've got Wolverine, and he is the best in the set. Um, his hairpiece is really, really cool. It is so um, done very well, I think. got these cool um, Wolverine claws and they're not exact like when I saw these similar things come out for um, Lego Ninjago with the I don't know, blacksmith attack maybe or whatever there was um, some claw like things in there that almost remind you of Wolverine these ones are done even better they're not as square if you check out those ones that came with um, those sets of the Ninjago, you'll see that these ones are they're similar, but these ones are better. There's the front torso printing, and I like the brightness of it. He's got navy blue gloves on, and here is the back printing. And his other face as well. Wolverine. Here we have Magneto. Magneto is a really, really good looking minifigure. The color scheme is very uh, bold. Purple and red looks very good together. I didn't think it would, but he just comes across well. The front torso printing is done really cool. It's got a lot of detail on there. Take a look. Um, Look around the belt and everything. A lot of fine lines. His helmet is pretty much stunning. So, so cool. His face. His contense face. Purple cape. And if we slide it over, you can see his back printing. He's detailed on his back too. He yeah, has uh, black sleeves and red gloves. That is Magneto. He also is on a pedestal, which is that. And here is Deadpool. And I like his uh, eyes. His mask is really cool. His suit matches Magneto's. See? with the red and the purple he's got a blaster and this is what his torso printing looks like he looks kind of like an alien to me and leg printing and a sword holder that goes over his back and that is Deadpool 
Wolverine has a motorcycle and it's in gray coloring and I believe this is like the one you got with the Pharaoh's Quest sets but that one was a maroon or a brown or something you can set on Wolverine like this motorcycle and on to the helicopter okay. we've got the smooth rotating propellers and it is a pretty good looking helicopter for its size a lot of detail on it you can pop this off and get Deadpool down in there we've got a printed cockpit uh, control piece and there you go Deadpool cockpit and if you turn it like this you can see that it's armed got flip fires here Ooh, shut up pretty fast and hard. Um, shiny cone tips really cool these can come in handy the shiny metal shiny um, cones they angle like this you have this much up um, options when firing the flick fires hopefully you'll get more uh, hits on them here are the swords that go you can take them off and go inside of demonstrate that here clip off the swords like so like the ninjas So he can have his swords on his back, and they just conveniently clip on his helicopter as well. Side also is flick fire missiles, and you see the angle, angling opportunities. Just can push them out, and they come out rather nicely. You got four of those. The color scheme's nice. It's a dark maroon and black. And you get these mini propellers for the tail. And you, it supports pretty nice if you hold it here and fly it around. This completes my review of the Wolverine's Chopper Showdown. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.